Hi everybody, it's Mari and Nico. Nico here, and we are back with another rare reaction. <laughs> Well, today it's a new day for us, new day for me. <laughs> a new day for everybody. Uh, we're about to react to Melanie Martinez. Following your suggestion. Yeah, we're gonna start with her second album. Because we is, want to. Yeah, no reason. Which is uh, from this year actually, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I know about her is that she was... Um, in The Voice, mm -hmm. US, and I actually saw one, I saw her performance. We have our pasta, our laptops, and we're ready. Wheels on the bus. Mm. <laughs> what is that? It's cold outside, they are two yelling. <laughs> okay, so she's in a school bus, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I like the, okay, all, all the samples they use. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is happening here? I mean, the driver sees that the boy has his hand in his pants. And says nothing and he's speaking and okay. Okay. That's um okay, let's move on. I mean, it's strange to me because the chorus is so soft mm -hmm. and pure, but what happened in the verse is completely twisted. Um, for me, the most important thing he here is probably the message mm -hmm. she is talking about. Like, it's a thing that if you're a girl, you you lived. Um, Not only if you're a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I was just. Thinking about the fact that this thing that happened, happened to you, or, yeah, you even, even to me, it? yeah. It, I mean, it's a thing that she is saying with kind of like not funny, but like a, a chill, telling mm -hmm. that shit. Even if I mean, it's pretty pretty. It's fucked yeah, up. it's. I mean, it's a thing that. Woo. He also said that the driver. Saw everything and he didn't give a fuck. Well, this is important. I mean, it's like a society thing. Mm -hmm. Like everybody see that and nobody give a fuck about. Nobody like, speaks about that, it. Yes. Exactly. Ooh. <laughs> Smoking a blind. I'm kind of confused because at the beginning I thought for the melody and all of that I thought that it was like um, super young beat. I mean, I, I, I had this picture in my mind that she was in um, a school bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the second verse she says, pass, pass it on, pass it, puff puff. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, we all know what mm -hmm. she's referring to. So I'm kind of confused about that, but it's interesting at the same time because you can understand which period of time of her life or the character's life she's talking about. The messages, I think it's the most important thing mm -hmm. here. Um, even if the the beat and the production is really, really good. I mean, especially at the end, how it ends. I mean, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And it's super pop. I mean, I only listen, I mean, in this song, only listen to pop uh, influences. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for me, it's a bit different from the thing that I used to listen to, mm -hmm. but I like it. Kind of funny, and again, it's just the first track. But well, if exactly. she, yeah, but if she does this thing that she tells a story, um, 
different characters, uh, an old different world that she created is super interesting to me. Yeah. But also, I like the fact that this production on this track is completely soft as her voice. Exactly. I was thinking the same. I was thinking that she used this uh, soft voice, soft mm -hmm. melodies also, mm -hmm. which is not really usual in the pop industry at mm -hmm. the moment. They always like use this like enormous voice, this, you know, also the production, the production, the voice, yeah, so. exactly. And she is pretty simple. She's mm -hmm. basic, but at the same time, she has like something to say. So second song, classified. Second song. Classified. Class yeah, so five. we are in a class, in a school. Oh yeah, we are probably. Yeah. <laughs> but again, the voices, the voices seem so young. Mm? What? Okay, so again, the fact that this production includes a lot of different noises. Yeah, details. Yeah. I mean, this noise. The voices of the, the kids in the background. Yeah, but also this noise in the background, it reminds me of a um, pencil mm -hmm. tapped yeah. on, a, on a table. Yeah. And also the fact that everything she says when she said mm, the teachers, uh, the teacher gave me notes to give Kelly. You can hear the, the note, yeah. yeah, the note. She, she's writing. She's writing note. the note. Wow. The beat here. <laughs> Ooh, like it. Um, I mean, it's funny to me to see how she used this like sexual reference. Uh -huh. Uh, with such a like school and class theme. Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't expect that. And again, she at the beginning of the chorus she used this angelic voice, yeah. <laughs> but then the message go for the throw. <laughs> <Wow! laughs> okay, <laughs> just pause. Why her hands are bloody? <laughs> and her face is fucked up. I mean, she... <clears throat> she get, like... Yeah, she beat that she, bitch hard. Class <laughs> fight. Yeah. You know? Yes, I forgot about the title. <laughs> That's why. De l'acqua. So... Mm. Super funny to me. And I didn't expect that. Well... Again, it's something that go... We have two main themes or main elements yeah. her voice and the production and the song yes the only thing that i can tell is that i mean didn't expect such a strong production i mean i knew that she was like super pop and also a bit depressed that that's mm -hmm. what i knew about her before to listen to her music unexpected and super pop Definitely, I didn't know. But it's so. funny at the same time. Yeah. It's interesting. <coughs> yes. Third song is called The Principle. The production on the voice when she says Dimo. Not also, I mean, also in the whole song, I mean, did you listen to the bells mm -hmm. in the background? Uh, well, can I just say the line, what if I told you your mother, her son was a cruel motherfucker to all my ex? Like, can I? I'm confused. I mean, right now, I don't know if this is the point of view of mm -hmm. the principal or the kid in school because she says what if I had told your mother her son was a cruel motherfucker so this could be the principal saying to a kid no bitch she's speaking you say yeah let's see okay yes yeah. can I just say that 
I don't like the fact that she always used the same structure for the songs. Mm-hmm. I mean, the first three songs she used uh, verse, chorus, and post chorus, mm-hmm. and the post chorus were always uh, too long. Too, yeah, yes. too long, and for me, just like a, f- a line repeated. Mm-hmm. I don't really like that, but at the same time, the production was cool. Uh, even if I mean, for me, it was pretty basic. I mean, just a lot of elements, but at the end, if you listen just to the melody, mm. it's pretty basic. How oh, they use the strings here yeah. just to create some drama. Some hype. Yeah. He's actually talking about a social theme. Mm-hmm. The fact that the principal principals in school usually don't give a, a fuck about how the school is going the teachers how they treat the students but also the fact that if a, a kid is being bullied in school usually i mean it's hard to find a principal that uh exposes yeah. yeah expose themselves to me it's just like that is She's talking about... I think it could also be the fact that the principal could reflect the, you know, just like uh, old generation. Yeah, maybe too. Could be, I don't know. I was thinking about it when she said, fuck our dreams, and that's not right. Or yes. you want this cash and I fuck our dreams, and that's not right. It could be well, that, you know, like our, our generation is full of dreams, and the old generation just doesn't give a fuck. I like the, the fact that she used this metaphor mm-hmm. because I mean if you listen to an artist like Youngblood he's more like straight away with that mm-hmm. he just say that doesn't give a fuck uh, she's just speaking with, with younger generation like using this metaphor of school mm-hmm. so everybody can understand that but at the same time if you are like a little bit older and you listen to that mm-hmm. you, you're like oh yeah maybe that's you listen but you want it your way right hmm. oh it's interesting how she ended the song yes and i don't know but i mean this is such a strong message at the end because if it's real that she's speaking about society and political stuff I don't know why she chose to speak that loud mm-hmm. with just this like soft melody I mean, it's a bit strange for me but I, I mean it could be like just a different way to take it mm-hmm. uh, you know I'm just used to, to listen to Youngblood and he's super fucking powerful <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in his melody, so I believe it's just the way she she pictured the project. She's just trying to arrive to a younger generation, and the pop music is probably the only way mm-hmm. to arrive there. <laughs> Fourth song. song is called uh, "Show and Tell." This is like a bike. Yeah, friends. <laughs> well, wow, the last line on the covers. Can we talk about it? No, I mean, I'm kind of impressed by this old thing right now because if you think about it, she wow. go she goes through all the phases that a child goes to in school. Yeah. She analyzed them, but she used them as a metaphor to talk about society and political stuff. And actually I'm kind of blown away by the fact that everything we do in the past yeah. and how we it grow reflect, yeah, yeah, it reflects it reflect the society. And what? you don't think about it when you're in school. Uh, I like the um, art don't sell unless you fuck the authority line. I think it's like a shot to the whole music industry. See, this is the thing. Listen to the production here. Ooh. 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 I think she's like in a little box, like a Barbie. When she said, why can't you fucking hear mm-hmm. me? Did you listen to the voice? Yes. She's like in the box. 
and the show and tell is like probably the fact she is like an object it's because but she's have an... you listen to also the fact that are you listening yet at the end there's a glass cracking yeah so maybe she's she out broke the box it. Now. Yeah. yeah okay so next, next song is song, called harry what do you think about it harry likes melanie nurses office. you know this is not a thing that i can relate in school because we're not we didn't have this in our school okay <laughs> Oh my god. Let me, put, you. let me put Harry here. She's always bleeding. What is going on? <laughs> Ooh. We used to, we used to fake call our parents and, and to bring me home. And we used to fake the sickness. Obviously, I mean, like all the every time. day. He's fucking serious with his lyrics. <laughs> wow. Uh, first of all, the production in the instrumental break and the fact that she didn't use a bridge here mm -hmm. is an interesting choice for me. I mean, to me, it could be also the fact society-wise and just to reconnect about what we said about the metaphors. To me, it could also be the fact that when you're uh, uncomfortable in a situation or when you don't want to feel pain, you, you just, just fake avoid it. The production was fundamental here. I liked it. Next song is called... Oh my god, Drama Club! Drama Club? Is that high school musical? <laughs> Am I offending you? <laughs> Okay, everything is going pretty fast to me. Are yeah, we already me too. the second me chorus? Uh, well, I think she's just speaking about the fact that you have to be yourself, like not following the others, mm -hmm. like having your own personality. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, the chorus here is like just like a bit repetitive for me. Okay, but, third verse. Yeah, did you listen to the production when yeah, she said speech. no? When, when she said "fuck your auditorium," yeah. and it, it seems like she was in a like um, empty auditorium. Mm -hmm. I, like I expected something like pff, when she called a song "Drama Club" and the end, she always repeating the same thing. It okay, makes me angry as fuck. I mean, in this song, you don't have to focus on the lyrics, but you have to focus on the production and listen right now. <laughs> And how it changes throughout the song. And that is a reflection on the fact that this world is completely fake and all the people around yeah, you that, okay. that are doing this. Yeah, but is you fake. already did it. Okay, you already did it. Stop like repeating the same thing. Next song is called Strawberry Sharkcake. And it's actually a song that I know, the only song that I listen to. Why? <laughs> Not this one and the See you're a cheater. <laughs> what? Is that a zip? She's painting. I mean, the mess. The message here is. It's pretty clear. It's. I think that. I mean, you didn't. You don't expect when you listen to a pop song. Mm -hmm. Especially when she used to sing to younger generations, uh, the it's my fault, it's my fault, cause I put Ivy on top, bitch, bitch. I mean, let's talk about it. <laughs> but all the things she says, I mean, your parents don't want you to go out in a certain way, especially when you're a girl. My, especially the, my mama's preaching to make sure I'm pure. I mean, yeah. it's a thing that if you're a girl, you can't understand that, but if you're a girl, it's, it's a thing that you always listen, like since you're two years old, for the rest of your life, you have to be pure. But if you want to be a bitch, just be a bitch. <laughs> a like, bad bitch. A bad bitch. But you know, musically, here again, she's using like such a pop melody, such a pop production actually. Mm -hmm. 
uh, it's a bit like not really you know it doesn't fit the song really but I think at the end this is the, the right choice for the whole project Ooh, bitch. piano in the background okay let's say that the bridge is like everything, <laughs> everything. it's like funny everything. to me because in the bridge and throughout your song if you think about it is the fact that girls should not feel anything yeah Gr you girls have all this different pressure yeah. from the outside because boys want to have sex uh, society wants you not wants you to have sex but at the same time kind of and but at the same time your parents don't want you uh, at school they don't teach you the proper way to exactly have sex to enjoy is sex it? yeah exactly okay next song, next song is called lunchbox friends Talk about ways to get a little more cash is you the other day and trying to be a sugar baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the um, talk about the boys that we want to smash and talk about <laughs> ways to get a little more cash. It's me. Say no more. <laughs> I kind of love the production in the chorus. Um, I think here she's speaking about the fact that here again um, people around her are pretty fake mm -hmm. and she doesn't want just a lunch bo lunchbox friend but mm -hmm. she wants like a real a friendship real friend. and I can tell that it's pretty hard to find. <laughs> Again, Ooh. the Barbie reference. Yeah. The reference to Barbie. Mm -hmm. The fact she's just an object and here she's famous. She's famous. I mean, in the first part she was just in high school, now she's in, on TV. Yeah, and to me it's the fact that all and your friends exactly. maybe expect you to behave in a certain way. Next song is called Orange Juice. Orange is the new black. Juice. And my mind goes to Lord for 100 lux right now. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, um, again. Uh, Wow. I, I, again, I here, knew it. Yeah, I mean, again here, like a strong message, like super strong and like a difficult thing to talk about. Bulimia, I mean, especially in high school. Everyone thinks that's normal. It's just a phase, yeah, you know. That's but it. if you think about it, it's uh, things that it's going to be, no, they're going to be things that you're going to live for the whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Here, the production is better as fuck. This, um, vo this production on a voice, what's, what is she referring to? If you know, guys, let us know. Again, here, probably the fact that the, her parents, mm. or the, probably also the society, doesn't mm. see the fact that she's uh, not feeling good. Okay, detention. We don't have detention here no. again, so we never experienced that. But we, we will see. Okay, so here for the first time I don't see like a metaphor. I think this one this one is probably just the the next chapter mm -hmm. of this
Okay, to me, it could also be about fame because in the second verse where, when she says, uh, fuck how I feel as long as I make money. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that in the pre-chorus, the first line is I'm physically exhausted. Her way of saying, you don't give a fuck about how I'm feeling as long as I am famous and I have all of this, you don't care about me because... Okay. You don't care that I'm a human being, but at the end of the day, I'm still a human being. Next song is called... Teacher's Path. I'm scared. Is it neon in the background or just that's a two artist? Oh, no. Oh. kind of sexy the beat is so fucking flirty yeah, and all of that i mean it's sexy you can but at the same time this. i think the the choice the choice she did to use this sexy beat this almost dark mm -hmm. beat is because she's telling this story from the perspective of her uh -huh. but at the same time she also put some real things like the um, the love mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of the the chorus was mm -hmm. uh, on and, before um, the chorus yes and uh, the fact she she said um, you know you know he is isn't seen I mean she's just saying yeah the girl doesn't know that but yeah. you know he's a monster. Uh. I don't get if she's in love. I'm a, I mean, she's the teacher's pet to me. No, I don't think but so. But the teacher has feelings for another kid and she sees it as a sexual tension between them because she says that she want to set, set her on fire. No, I don't know. Not. I just think that sh they had like this sexual thing. She doesn't realize the fact that he's like a monster because she is like so young. And he's I'm her teacher. I love the fact that when she realized what happened, the guitar starts grows. The sound of the, the guitar wasn't clear. Uh huh. And I like that. I'm confused, so I won't speak about this. <laughs> okay, next song is called... I don't know. <laughs> high Tell school, them. high school. Sweet net, sweetheart, <laughs> sorry. Damn it if you fuck me. <laughs> she's so fucking dark. She's, for the first time here, she's also using this dark melody almost a ballad yeah <laughs> but I, I don't think it will be i don't know why <laughs> she reminds me of ariana grande here what's going on and then step three is the bible <laughs> this is super fun to me the fact that the song started so slow and then okay. it builds up throughout the verse Okay. And the, the pre-chorus and the chorus, the structure is pretty interesting to me. In the pre-chorus, she's kind of creepy, mm -hmm. just like in the chorus. Okay. That makes it kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you don't always know what to expect when you hear her, her voice, and when you listen, listen to, to her, <laughs> when you listen to her, it's kind of mm, what keeps me hooked. That song is called Recess. And yes. I have Nutella biscuits. <laughs> I think right here we are outside the school, obviously, because we are yes. around. <laughs> and um, I like the fact that it's full circle because when she was in school she was inside this the world yeah i mean with all the problems and political stuff and society and all of that but in this last song she's just outside of all this shit she's in her grandma's arm mm -hmm. arms and she's just being a child 
as she used to. Yeah. And she's saying, I'm actually out of all this shit. I don't want to listen to all of this anymore. It's just like, I don't know why. It's just like soulful. Yeah. You're gonna do. Mm, it, it reminds me of a soul song. Mm -hmm. I the beat. Um, yeah, I was thinking about some Emmy Winehouse influences. Yeah, she likes Emmy. I like, I like the fact that this song, the last one, is more like it's completely different from the world project. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it could be like an int for mm -hmm. the next one. Maybe. Mm, so, I really enjoy this. Yeah, the album was such a journey. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, like the fact that she put so many different reference and problems, like social problems. I didn't expect that. It's fun. I mean, to me, it's always fun to listen to a project like this because you have the full story. For me, it seems like a play. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to a theater and you just enjoy the whole project they do. Mm -hmm. Let's say hi to Harry. <laughs> Who was with us with the entire time? Entire time. And she, 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 <laughs> we're so like hyped for his album. Yeah, I'm like super hyped. 